the scariest dinosaurs. No, come on, follow me. I think there's an exit this way. I'm right back. No, no, bad idea. How about this? You know what? Let's just hide. In this video, I'll show you dinosaurs that would haunt other dinosaurs in their nightmares. Want to meet them? Patagotitan. Did you think plant eaters were just prey for carnivores? I introduce you to the Patagotitan. Listen carefully, this is the largest dinosaur in history. It weighed 80 tons, which isn't like one or two, but 14 African elephants. And it was 131 feet long. That's like three buses parked in a row. You can get an idea of its size with this model located in Patagonia, Argentina. People look like ants next to its 65 feet in height. But why is it scary? Well, what would happen if a herd went through a small town? Run! It's a stampede! It'd simply destroy it. There's nothing a group of people can do against the Patagotitan. For this reason, and its colossal size, it's earned its place in this video. Before moving on, have you ever wondered if the Indominus Rex could really exist? Stick around, because the answer will surprise you. Even I was surprised, and it was me who wrote the script. Therizinosaurus. I introduce you to the bloodthirsty vegetarian T-Rex, the Therizinosaurus. Where are you going, little Tarbosaurus? Oh, he was so young. This dreadful herbivore had a pair of 32-inch scythes instead of claws and was huge. It was 16.5 feet tall and weighed 5 tons only from eating salad. The Therizinosaurus beat up carnivores who thought it was easy prey. Let's see how it's doing the dad of its victim from a while ago. Knocked out with one hit. While the main use of its claws was to hold onto trees while feeding, let me ask you this. How many inches do you think its claw would pierce into your chest if you disturbed it? I look forward to your answer in the comments. Utah Raptor. Remember these? Well, I won't talk about those shrimps, but the biggest raptor of all, the Utah Raptor. It could reach up to 36 feet long, 5.2 feet tall, and weigh half a ton. Add to this the fact that it hunts in groups, and you have the perfect assassins for a slasher movie. Do you think its weight slowed it down? <laughs> Forget it! You can't escape, and not only that, its hind legs had huge 10-inch claws that could gently rip you off a limb. By the way, although its body resembled the first of birds, it's unknown whether or not it had feathers to help regulate its temperature, since it was so big that it could do it by itself. Cryodraken Boreas Just two years after the Night King used its ice zombie dragon for the first time in Game of Thrones Season 6, a true giant winged beast was found in the frozen lands of Alberta, Canada. It was the Cryodracon Boreas, better known as the Frozen Dragon. If you're about to tell me this wasn't a dinosaur because it could fly, well, you won't leave a like if I show you a bunch of identical carnivores. But let's continue. It was a despicable carnivore designed to be a fierce beast. It attacked from the sky and had a ridiculously large head and neck for its body. Still, it was huge as its wingspan could range from 16 to 30 feet. Now listen carefully, it ate dinosaurs. Do you think you stand a chance? No Valyrian steel sword would save you. Allosaurus. A bad yet popular guy came. The Allosaurus comes to prove that its reputation as a ripper isn't just a matter of attitude. Running is useless. Even if 
you were as fast as Usain Bolt, the Allosaurus would catch you with its speed of 24 miles per hour. This means that, yes, that would be you. The secret of its agility laid in its muscled hind limbs, aside from weighing just 2.5 tons like a big rhino. If you add the fact that it hunted in groups, it could kill Diplodocuses that weighed 10 times more. Despite all of the above, its bite was quite weak. It sized up to 30 feet long and 9 feet tall, but its bite was similar to a leopard. <laughs> so if the latter makes you feel lucky, it's all yours. Before moving on to the next one, don't forget to subscribe to Trend Max or the Allosaurus will eat you and your family. Oh, and uh, click the bell too. Tarbosaurus. It's time for the first major carnivore of this video. Round two, there is an Asaurus. I think there's a winner. With a weight of 5 tons, the Tarbosaurus makes its impressive appearance. Small carnivores must flee, as its name translates to alarming reptile, which was surely the last thought its victims had before being torn apart by its fearsome jaws. Weighing twice as much as the Allosaurus, this prehistoric killing machine of 11.5 feet high and 39 feet long had no trouble running up to 18 miles per hour. Besides, if by any chance it lost or worn out a tooth, it was replaced by a new one to continue its perfect butchery. Like every serial killer, it has a trauma with its mother. For the Tarbosaurus, is that she abandoned him. Carcharodontosaurus If shark movies discouraged you from going to the beach, bad news! The Carcharodontosaurus brings you that beautiful smile to dry land. Even other big carnivores knew it wasn't a good idea to face this six-ton monster, making it one of the largest carnivores that have ever walked on Earth. It was over 42 feet long, 12.5 feet tall, and its mouth was full of 6.2 inch serrated teeth, which is roughly the size of your phone. It was named after its terrible saw-like teeth, and it means shark-toothed lizard. It had a bad temper for anyone who set foot on whatever it considered home. <laughs> including long-necked giants. It's time for you to know more about the Indominus Rex. While well, everyone already knows it didn't exist, according to Dr. Jack Horner, a paleontologist who works as a consultant for Jurassic Park movies and sequels, it'd be possible to genetically modify chickens to look like dinosaurs, creating the so-called Chickenosaurus. Under this premise, science could create any dino it wants, including the Indominus Rex. Let's continue with the frightening dinosaurs that do exist. Tyrannosaurus Rex. I think I'll eat your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, the dinosaur that made the words dinosaur and terrifying to be written together, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. For starters, it had the most powerful bite ever six tons of pressure, which is like an elephant standing on top of you, but plus eight inch sharp teeth. And although until now, 66 million years after its extinction, it's still bullied for its forelimbs that were barely three feet long. Keep in mind that these could carry up to three times the weight human arms can. <laughs> At 42 feet long, 13 feet tall, nine tons in weight, and a name that literally translates to King Tyrant's Lizard. There wasn't much other predators could do, so you better start running. Spinosaurus. Even the Carcharodontosaurus knows it can't win this fight. However, the proud Tyrannosaurus Rex won't give up that easy. Dang it. I introduce you to the largest predator to ever walk on Earth, the Spinosaurus. 
Besides ruling over land, the Spinosaurus can chase you through water and catch you for lunch. No, don't hide it! A cage should be mistaken for canned tuna! Unlike other carnivores of similar size, its arms were much longer and stronger. At 7 tons in weight, 50 feet long, and over 13 feet tall. Add to the mix a 1.6 ton bite force and... Let's say its victims stood no chance. <gasps> Bonus, Helicoprine. It's time to run because the buzzsaw killer has just arrived. It isn't a dinosaur, but I couldn't leave it aside for how scary it is. These strange jaws were designed to cut through the hardest shells like scissors. It was 33 feet long and weighed 840 pounds. Experts can't agree on the appearance of the Helicoprion because given that it's cartilaginous, it disappears almost entirely after dying. But this all seems to indicate that those saw-like teeth in its lower jaw were spare parts developed to make its terrible weapon more lethal over time definitely a bite no one wants to receive. A completely different kind of bite. Now it's time. Make way for the master of slaughtering. Lythronax. Finally, the Lythronax, the king of gore. At just 2.5 tons, 26 feet long, and 7.8 feet tall. It's small compared to the Tarbosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and Spinosaurus. It would also have a difficult time fighting the Allosaurus, which is slightly larger. But why was this relatively small carnivore given a name that means Bloody King? Well, because it's the oldest known Tyrannosaurus. What does this mean? It means that it's the mentor of all the greatest prehistoric predators. Go, be quick. Every bite, tearing, Carnage and bloodbath made by Tyrannosaurus looking carnivores are just imitations of this original serial killer, the Lythronax. Moreover, its species was recently identified in 2013 in Utah, United States, so you can say its crimes were more than perfect. Do you know an even scarier dinosaur? Leave it in the comments to talk about it in a future video. I leave you on the screen more videos about different topics that may interest you. But what am I talking about? There's nothing cooler than dinosaurs. See you next time.